Um, everybody always wants to talk about weight loss and that's a highly um, charged topic. And so what, what we need to point out is what we do know uh, for certain. And then we can leave aside those things that are always uncertain and therefore usually more controversial and charged. Here's what we know for certain, and this is the good news, that if you're doing SPU contractions, it doesn't matter whether or not you are uh, heavy or overweight or you are lean and not overweight, you will benefit your soleus metabolism because there's a direct and immediate effect of the soleus contractions on the metabolism of the muscle. It's as simple as saying that when the muscle's working, it needs a fuel. When it needs a fuel, it needs it for energy to make the muscle contractions work. So that's for certain. The other thing that's for certain is that we showed in our study that people, whether they were obese and overweight, or if they were lean, they improved their glucose tolerance. That's incredibly important because it showed that in a single day's time, when it's impossible to lose weight in a single day's time, they were able to improve their glucose tolerance. We pointed out uh, in the discussion section of the paper, which I think that most physicians and their patients can read, that discussion section answers a lot of people's questions about other treatments and how this fits in and why it works so well. And one of the things we pointed out was that there have been many, many studies that have looked at glucose tolerance specifically people with impaired glucose tolerance. And what those studies have by and large shown is that it's quite difficult to improve glucose tolerance by weight loss, by exercise alone, you know, standard exercise such as uh, walking or cycling, training. Uh, and so what we showed was that the SPU contractions improved glucose tolerance a large amount on the first day that people did it without weight loss. Okay, so if you're in a weight loss program and your goal is to lose weight, that's great. Do not think that you have to wait six months after beginning SPU training and maybe you, you that and dietary modifications and maybe some drugs, you've lost some weight and then you might improve your glucose tolerance. We're seeing it can happen prior to weight loss occurring. And then like I also will remind you, we pointed out and there are good references there that that in the studies that have done well-controlled weight loss interventions where they've made people lose 5% of body weight and then they measured glucose tolerance, there was no improvement in glucose tolerance. When they made them go further and have 10, 11% body weight loss, there was still no improvement in glucose tolerance. And then even the third stage of the paper we cited showed that uh, when people lost even more, 15, 16, 17% weight, they still had not improved their glucose tolerance. So again, that agrees with the general concept. It's difficult to improve glucose tolerance, regardless of what weight you're at. And we're also showing that regardless of what weight people are at, they could improve glucose tolerance with the SPU contractions.